Today I want to do something a little bit different and share my experience of using the RTX 48T for production. Let us start with the unboxing. And here it is, the RTX 4080 Founders Edition. I cannot begin to tell you how videos do not show how huge this thing is. It is absolutely massive and it is heavy. It is a thing of beauty. I've always been a fan of the Founders Editions. In the box, we have this compartment with the adapter in it. On this end, we have the three power cable connectors and the new connector on this end. I have replaced this already with an aftermarket one. Before I show you the basic test that I ran, here are my machine specs. When I want to test a new system, I always use City Sample. And I did this with both the RTX 3080 and 4080, and I saw very little difference between the two. City Sample does not run well on my machine, and it's probably the other components, maybe discs. And as you can see, it's just absolutely terrible. I did find that the 4080 performed slightly worse in this scenario but again that could be a bottleneck somewhere in the system i did try turning on dlss and it made no difference with this sample next i tried a scene with nanite foliage in it on the rtx 3080 this scene runs fine as you can see around 60 frames per second but this all changes the moment i try to drag in a lot zero metahuman i get a video memory has been exhausted error and then from there the scene just deteriorates on the 4080 i can drag in lots of lot zero metahumans as you can see and I do not get those errors anymore. Also, the frame rates are slightly higher in most cases. And even with eight metahumans in the scene, we're still getting around 60 to 65 frames per second. And the latency is a little lower. So here, the RTX 4080 becomes really useful. For my Unreal rendering test at 4K, I found that for 208 frames with the 3080, it took around 8 minutes and for the same amount of frames, around 5 minutes with the 4080, which is a great improvement again. With Blender, I have this splash screen from 3.3. I set to 4K though and render and this rendered in 2 minutes and 38 and then with the 4080 the same scene takes 1 minute and 26 so again the 4080 outperforms the 3080. Dash Studio for eye ray rendering at 4K. Everything in Dash Studio always takes a long time. But it took around 13 minutes. And then with the 4080, it only took 8 minutes. So again, the 4080 outperforms the 3080. Next up, I tried DaVinci Resolve and I am rendering a clip in 8K. There are various effects on this clip as well. I'm using the NVIDIA encoder and H.265. And as we can see, 2 minutes and 30 for the 3080. 
And then with the 4080, I can actually scroll and almost play 8K. And when I render this, I get one minute and nine. So in conclusion, during my tests, I found that the 4080 is faster for sure than the 3080 and possibly the 3090. I've also noticed that the 4080 runs considerably cooler than the 3080, with temperatures never really exceeding 56 degrees Celsius, while maxed out path tracing, and seems to be using less power. If you are upgrading from anything below a 3080, you will be blown away by the speed. The price is a problem for most. I think it is priced slightly too high, but that is just a personal opinion. However, if you're upgrading from a 3090 Ti, for example, maybe you should wait for the price on the 4090s to drop. For everyone else like me that will probably never be able to afford a 4090, then this card is probably going to be for you. The card is more than capable for Unreal Engine 5 development, Blender, DAS Studio, Character Creator, and the increased speeds in video encoding in DaVinci Resolve are a real time saver for me. It is a really, really good card.